I am Mundo Banikam from Department of Chemistry, Maharshi Dayananda Mahavidyalaya, Paril, Mumbai. For SYBSC Semester 3, in uh, Paper 2, for practicals, you have short organic preparations and their purifications. In this video, we will see preparation of glucosazone from glucose or fructose. And we will have virtual visit to our laboratory. Glucosa zone from glucose or fructose. Glucose or fructose. These two molecules gives same osa zone. If we use glucose, compound is called a glucosa zone. And if we use fructose as a starting sugar, we will have fructose zone. But their structure is same because stereochemistry of a glucose and fructose is same for the carbons that means for carbon number 3 carbon number 4 and carbon number 5 and product formation is taking place there on carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 so whatever that may be glucose or fructose as a starting compound we will get same osa zone since configuration at carbon 3, 4 and 5 for glucose and fructose is same. What are chemicals required? Glucose or fructose. Now for this experiment we will use glucose. Phenyl hydrazine, glacial acetic acid as a solvent and solvent for crystallization is ethanol. Okay, see how to perform it in a laboratory. Now here, weighed amount of D glucose I am taking in conical flask. I am dissolving that sugar in around 7 to 10 centimeter cube of water. After dissolution, okay, we have to add phenyl hydrazine and glacial acetic acid. Phenyl hydrazine is added, glacial acetic acid is added. Yeah, that I am adding. Sorry. Around 6 cm cube of glacial acetic acid we have to use. We will shake it and we will keep it in boiling water bath for heating. And periodically we have to shake it. Yellow colored product formation will take place. For around 35 to 45 minutes, we have to heat it. Yellow colored product formation take place. After cooling, we have to filter it. After crystallization, it will be clear yellow. Now little brownish shade is there. 
but we will not uh, see crystallization of this aim of this video is to show you how we can get product for a particular preparation in this case osha zone formation now reagent used is phenyl hydrazine three molecules of phenyl hydrazine reaction type will be condensation at carbon number one to form c double bond n nh ph functional group then second molecule of phenyl hydrazine will bring oxidation at carbon number 2 for the formation of second carbonyl group and that will be again condensed with undergo condensation with third molecule of phenyl hydrazine for the formation of glucose as whole. Then we will remove that filter paper, we will press that by using some filter papers and we will keep it for drying yes before drying we will purify it by using ethyl alcohol as a solvent we will dissolve it in ethyl alcohol and when we use alcohol we have to use water bath for the heating then in what condition by using cotton plug we have to do filtration where insoluble impurities will remain on cotton plug and filtrate obtained that will give you crystals of glucosia zone on cooling that is called a mother liquor and then we have to go for again filtration by using filter paper and their product will be separated which we have to dry weigh and then uh, proceed for the calculations and melting point determination so what is calculation part now here this is reaction given d glucose their molecular weight okay we have to consider for the calculation it is 180 gram 180 that we have to convert into gram and here molecular weight of product is 358 and we will write unit gram according to law of conservation of mass 180 gram corresponds to 358 gram therefore suppose if we have started with 1 gram that corresponds to how much by assuming 100% conversion ok and that will be our theoretical yield and that here we have to do as 358 multiplied by 1 divided by 180 gram means molecular weight of product multiplied by weight of starting compound taken divided by molecular weight of starting compound and it will come around 198 gram means approximately double of this 1 gram okay now this is about theoretical yield now what is percentage practical yield now for this preparation suppose if we have obtained okay one gram of the product how much product one gram of product we have obtained that is weight of glucosia zone is one gram it is our observation so if 1.98 gram corresponds to 100 percent by assuming 100 percent conversion but we have obtained only one gram that corresponds to how much so weight of product that is 1 multiplied by 100 divided by 1.98 and approximately it will be 50 percent since instead of 2 we got only 1 gram so like this we have to do calculation for percentage practical yield then result table we have to complete melting point of this product okay will be around 204 degree celsius but there will be charring there will be decomposition that practical yield you have to write that is yield of product obtained and theoretical yield on the basis of calculation and percentage practical yield on the basis of calculation and again same questions just like previous preparation a typical questions for any preparations for viva are possible such as 
reaction involved in preparation. In this case, it is condensation reaction. Three molecules of phenyl hydrogen take part. First molecule for condensation, second molecule for oxidation, and third molecule for condensation. And total two hydrazone, phenyl hydrazone functions are formed at carbon number one and carbon number two. A reagent is phenyl hydrazine. Solvent is glass elastic acid. You should be able to write a reaction. Then you have to remember reaction condition that is heating in water bath. Now solvent for crystallization, ethyl alcohol again. Uh, on the basis of law of conservation of mass, you have to write. You should be able to write formula for theoretical yield calculation. You have to remember what is molecular weight, how to calculate that molecular weight, and you should be able to write name, molecular formula, structural formula for all the molecules which we are using in this experiment. And these are typical questions for crystallization like uh, how what are steps involved in crystallization what is principle of crystallization how soluble impurities are removed how insoluble impurities are removed what is mother liquor etc what is purpose behind using cotton plug uh, for the first filtration why that we have to perform in what condition even those questions you have to think about and remaining questions already i have uh, any